It took years of dedication, passion, compassion, and the experts of many people throughout the world, U of L Health, the University of Louisville, scientists, researchers, nurses, and physicians to make this happen. Last Tuesday, September 14th, along with Dr. Powell and our surgical team, uh, we implanted the ASON bioprosthetic total artificial heart into a 57-year-old woman from Kentucky who was suffering from severe biventricular uh, heart failure uh, during an eight-hour surgery. The ASON heart is able to be a replacement for both ventricles, the main pumping chambers of the heart. This device is very compact. Now it can be used in both men and women. The ESON device that we've just implanted is designed to help patients with biventricular failure and thus it opens up a wide spectrum of patients that we can help with it. It's not often that we get to say, I was there when I heard, when I saw, when I witnessed the team that made a miracle possible. Today marks a very special day to know that this is important for Louisville and for Kentucky and for the country and for the world. This is not the first time that we've been the first here at Jewish Hospital in the University of Louisville. In 1984, Dr. Gray was the first to do a heart transplant in the state of Kentucky here at Jewish Hospital. In 2001, Dr. Gray implanted the first abiocor, total artificial heart, here at Jewish Hospital. But the first have not stopped there. I certainly want to thank our amazing team. With these leaders and teams by our side, caring for our most critical patients, we've been able to save the lives of numerous uh, patients throughout the state and region. We at UFL Health, the Jewish Hospital, are blessed to have an exceptional team of intensivists, nurse practitioners and nurses who look after these patients all day, all night, 24-7 here, and they, they make uh, even the most complicated surgeries go smoothly. My heart is full today. I am wearing my heart on my sleeve today because this is a momentous occasion.